Um, where though? <laughs> where? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, wait. Why does this Im this image does not look correct? This is not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that looks better. <laughs> oh, the music is picking up. <laughs> okay. We're going to get rescued. Everything is going to be alright. We're finally going to see other humans again. No more swimming as our, our only exercise. Amazing. We can have vegetarian water again. <laughs> oh, the things I will do once I'm rescued, guys. I'm just thinking that we're going to unknown territory. Like, I was happily just cruising along, and then suddenly I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we have not been here. This is going to be unknown territory. <laughs> this is getting intense. Yeah, yeah, you're right, cat. <laughs> Oh, I see another one of those monsters. They don't seem to at least spot me from this distance. Uh, that's new. That is new. That is new. That is new. And that very much looks like it's going to attack us. Oh, <laughs> guys, I feel the stress. Let me just, <laughs> let me prepare myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> no, I'm not ready for this. Oh. Uh, Okay, let's stay away from him. Oh, oh, oh! Another one! Another one! Oh! Let's save the service! Let's save the service! Let's go to the service! Oh! Okay, let's not look down. We're not look- oh! oh, I hear stuff. Okay, we're not looking down. Straight ahead. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, the stress! If I look down, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a heart attack, no matter what's there. Like, it doesn't matter if there's monsters there or not, I'm going to have a heart attack either way. Okay. 350 meters to go! <laughs> oh my god, my migraine finally left my head today, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get it back again now after all of this stress. Okay, we're hearing no weird sounds, we don't even see anything. Oh, radio, yeah. I'm not going to get that radio message now. <laughs> Jesus. If it's going to be the sunbeam. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is deep. <gasps> we just passed over all of this, guys. Not going straight there. I don't like that. No, but see. Oh, what are these sounds? See. Ghastly, on the one hand, you are right. On the other hand, also, <laughs> you know, so much could have happened. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. <gasps> I feel so scared right now. I don't want to get out. But there's land. I didn't actually think there would be land here. Okay, let's get on the land. Let's get on the land. Let's get on the land. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's not good. What are you? What are two? Two. Cave. Crawler, what are you? You look like you're attacking me. Let's get my knife. Oh! Why is it jumping around? <laughs> oh! You look also like. Oh, we don't have any. We should have brought some health kits with us. Okay, at least we can kill it. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, there's so much to scan now, though. Oh, I'm loving that. Let's get everything we can. Eight minutes. We have eight minutes to scan as much as we can. And try not to die. Let's not die in those eight minutes, please. <laughs> oh, I see you. Oh, stay away. Can we cut this? Yes, but that... Oh, no, no, no. We got some seeds from it. I don't know why we would... <laughs> why would we want that? Can we run? Oh, yeah, we can. Uh... Look at that! Is that the massive energy thing it was reading? <laughs> For some reason I felt like I saw something behind the tree, but once I went behind the tree there was nothing there! <laughs> oh, that scares me! <laughs> Everything scares me right now! Oh. I'm hearing so many sounds! I feel like half of the sounds I'm hearing, maybe, maybe more than half, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Half of that is just me. Does it? It doesn't say anywhere anymore where we need to be, right? I don't see an error. I think you got actual food from the tree, did we? Mm. I don't think so. If so, then... Oh. Wait, that's... Okay, wait, it's not giving us minus yet. Okay, let's eat all of it. <laughs> there we go. Uh... What are these? Oh, yeah, I can eat those? Oh, you're right! Actually, it gives me some water as well. Let's eat one of them. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's eat one of them. There we go. <laughs> can I scan this? Also, which one? This one. Five second rule. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't even think the five second rule will, like, <laughs> you know, defend us against all of the sand that is here. <laughs> but, you know. Who doesn't like a bite of sand once in a while? What am I hearing? What am I hearing? What am I... Ooh. Look at that! The use of weapons! Hi! It's an alien planet, you get six seconds. <laughs> or maybe less, you know? Because <laughs> you never know what you can expect to all get on your sandwich. <laughs> alien microbes. <laughs> Insert tablet, we don't have a tablet. Can we? Nope. Okay, so I guess unless we get the tablet, we cannot get in here. Six minutes, guys. Six minutes. I'm not sure exactly... Oh, okay. It will land there. Okay. I see. We couldn't see the arrow because we were exactly on top of the arrow. <laughs> but nice to see you back again, you use of weapons. How is your day been? Let's see if we can get on top of here. Like, these seem to, like, lead us somewhere. Oh. Oh, wait. Look at that. Purple tablet. There we go. I didn't think we would just find one. Okay, so we can get in there now. <laughs> Question is, do we want to? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this whole pathway we can explore, but there's no use to explore it because we're going to get saved. So, see, we will just say goodbye to all of the interestingness, interestingness that might be here. <laughs> Because we will never see it, because we're going to get saved in five minutes. Let's see if there's anything here. What am I hearing? The constant sounds! <laughs> oh. I bet you can't wait to get off this planet. Yes! Let's get me to a planet where there's like more, more Earth than water. Like, so let's not go to actual planet Earth. Let's go to somewhere where there's just mostly land, you know? <laughs> I would love that. Mostly land. <laughs> and all the pollution in the oceans. <laughs> I will take that pollution right now over these clean oceans. Give me the earthly polluted oceans, please. <laughs> oh no. Are we stuck? Well, that made a nice sound. Why does it two when you go down and one when you go up? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Scientific experiments, you know. Sit back on the beach and get a tan while you get to <laughs> wait to be rescued. Yes, that sounds like the most perfect plan. Let's go do that. Although, maybe we, like pop in. Do we have fall damage? Like, we don't even know about that. This is literally the first time we've been on land. Let's put in the tablet? Let's just not go in. <laughs> Let's just not. Or maybe like pop our head. Like. <gasps> Maybe like we pop our head around the corner? Scans like indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No integrity. match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Huh? Okay. Force field control. We can't scan it. They should have sun burn mechanics in this game, yes. Because of all the time we are spending outside on land. <laughs> Let's see. Now that we know this, can you build your base on land as well? I'm wondering. I mean, on the one hand, that would be so much nicer. Okay, we have three minutes. We need to watch the time. On one hand, that would be so much nicer because, you know, no scary stuff all around us. Uh, on the other hand, like, it's so beautiful to look out of your, like, glass stuff and see 
all of the cool ocean around you. That's something that you, of course, can't do in real life. Although you have, like, those underwater hotels, which I would love to stay at at one point. Like, there's so many of those places. Like, you'll still have, like, an ice hotel. I really want to stay at one of those ice hotels at some point. Um, download data? Okay. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Two minutes. Two and a half minutes. Let's quickly look down here. Oh, you think you can even build in here? Wow. Okay, that's cool. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility Ancient is technologies. achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay, so this is a control room. But we need to get up now. This is like a maze. Oh wait, okay. Very quickly, see a cube. <laughs> Let's very quickly go to the cube, and there we go. I might spoil some story if I keep going right now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How can I spoil story, though, when I don't know story? <laughs> cool, okay. You'll leave now. Sound, so much sounds. Okay. We, we will leave. I won't spoil anything. <laughs> But when, when do we go here then? Like, am I here too early or something? Or why would I spoil something right now? I guess because we leave. Like, there's nothing to do there. We just leave now. <laughs> That's it, right? Okay, now we will just tan. We will, well, <laughs> there's no sun anymore. <laughs> now we will just tan. <laughs> well, after the sunbeam saves you, obviously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> well, it's not like they force you on board. You don't have to go with them. I, like, they can try to keep me off board. Like, it doesn't matter what they do. I will be on top of that ship. <laughs> I will leave with them. <laughs> oh, wait. Here? Is this it? I guess it's it. Can we scan these? Oh, no, they're going. Oh, my God. I, I... I will not go into this water at dark. <laughs> 35 seconds. Let's see. I am cute. High capacity alien energy source. What's happening? What's happening? Uh. Excuse me? Uh, did I do something? Look! The moon is moving. Did I activate some? <laughs> Did I activate something? This doesn't sound good. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you? you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Oh, where are you? Is that a building down there? What? What do you mean you can't identify it? What did you do? I don't know. I don't know. This actually looks like a gun. Yes, it does. No turning back now. Where? Positions, everyone. Touching down. Is that them? Ten, no. Nine. Where eight. are they? Where is the gun pointing at? Oh, there they are. There they are. It's coming from the building? Yeah, no, it's going to shoot it. No! Change course. No! Thrusters to fall. No! <laughs> Or something. 
You you did this. Well, maybe I did this. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. So, Ghastly, can I go inside the building now? Oh, I knew we wouldn't be safe. I knew it. <sighs> now what? How on earth are we going to get off this planet? Wait, let's do a self-scan. How on earth are we going to get off? Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Oh, that's no good. Okay, wait, it's getting lighter. Five seconds. <laughs> Can I... I just want to see very shortly what's like below here. Do I dare to? List of people who can mess up being rescued from an alien planet. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! I felt that deep in my soul! <laughs> Weapons, why? Oh! Oh, look at that! <gasps> oh! Wow, okay. No way I'm ever going there. What are these sounds I'm hearing? Wow, yeah, I am never ever going there. Oh! Bioshock Vice? I never played Bioshock. I really, really shoot at some point. Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> just in time. <laughs> yes, you can go inside. There might be something inside which would have spoiled some me. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you for saving me from getting spoiled. You are amazing, Ghastly. Well, let's go explore this alien building now that shot down our only friends and the only people that could save us. <laughs> I'm sure we will only find friendly things inside, right? Right? <laughs> Bioshock is my favorite game. We love to see you play it. Well, then we will definitely have to do that in, uh, on some... Jesus Christ. At some point. I also think that would be... I mean, I don't know anything about it. But for some reason, my mind tells me that would be a nice game to stream. Hmm. Okay, so nothing there. I'm feeling nerves, guys. Fluid intake. Oh. Thank you, Analysis Alice. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Hmm. Further data required. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. See, ghastly. Isn't it good that I, you know, prepared with food and water? Isn't that great? Although apparently the plants here also give us some stuff. Another cube. Well, the sound that that cube makes when you pick it up is so nice. This building is huge. We haven't found anything dangerous so far. We haven't found anything inside yet. At I least nothing not alive. Attempting translation. Okay, wait. Let's 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 check out these things. Um, data bank. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facilities. <laughs> facilities. Unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam. Synthesized from off-world materials, there is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant. Okay. Located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where the schematic was found. Okay. And a control room, which is... Uh, access via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. No, thank you. No, thank you. We will take the elevator. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interact with the facility. Okay. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or install security measures. Hmm. You might have gotten a decoded lore entry from the terminal back upstairs. Okay, yeah. I think that might be the alien terminal. We will read that next. And that one. What is you? Hi! Welcome back! So nice to see you back! <laughs> yes, you missed the sunbeam! That was like five minutes ago. He got shot down and I feel like I was, was responsible for it. 
because uh, we went inside this building, like we unlocked it, we went inside, picked up some cubes, messed around a bit, and then we went outside and it activated, the whole building activated, and it shot down the sunbeam. <laughs> okay, let's see, we also have this one. I discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It's likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved, or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device. And to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of tele uh, telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Okay. Assessment further research required. Now I'm wondering, are those aliens still on this planet? That is information that I would really, really like to have. <laughs> I just wanted to see your face when it happened. <laughs> it, it was not a good face. It was a face filled with shock and disbelief. <laughs> Big brain aliens? Yeah, I don't like big brain aliens. I do not need any big brain aliens. Let's see. Oh, here. This device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Yeah, we figured that. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Okay, yeah. We found a key for it. Then we have the ion cube. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on a periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, okay. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Okay. <laughs> Should I carry this around on me? <laughs> like, is this safe? <laughs> Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely uses batteries, okay, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Yeah, we don't have any of that. Then a purple tablet. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Yeah, I wonder why the U. Despite the onboard power still functioning, LG growth on the exterior indicates that it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. So that suggests maybe there's no aliens anymore. Mmm, I would like that. <laughs> While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. Okay, cool. So we will read some of these other things at some other point, but let's not <laughs> read like all the time. All the talk in this episode, and let me guess, you didn't bring a drink. No. I did not. I swear, so many times during the day, I was like, okay. Mirza, you are going to bring a drink to the stream. And I was like thinking, I can maybe bring some coffee with me or some tea or maybe some hot chocolates and it's snowy outside now or just some water or anything. Like I was thinking about it the whole day. <laughs> I am going to bring something with me to drink. And of course I didn't. <laughs> oh, for sure I'm going to be like all horrors again at the end of the stream. Shock will be the proper face. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Is this the elevator? Oh! Oh! Oh, that is a special elevator! Can we still go back? Oh, what did we do? What did we get ourselves into? <gasps> oh no... <laughs> well, <laughs> wouldn't she it was something like that, probably? Oh, where are we? So Subnautica has the right game <laughs> for you! <laughs> it 100% is! Fear of Oceans? Check. Monsters? Check. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> Aliens? Check. <laughs> Just the right game for me. Yeah, no way we are going in this water, are we? Are we? Should we? No. No, we should not. I should no see no reason why we should take such a risk. Distractions? Check. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just the right game for me. Why? It's so quiet in here, and it's so big. Okay. Wait, can you guys still hear me? Something weird happened. From my end, it seems good again. Alien rifle! Okay. 
We will read that later. Once we're safe in the base or something. <laughs> Can we make that? I would love to have a rifle. But someone said we aren't really. Seem for us for a second. Seems good for now. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm not just talking to myself right now. <laughs> Always good to know. Again with the guns, yeah. <laughs> but someone said we are not going to be using guns really in this game, so... I bet you only the aliens can use guns against us. This... I, I'm so lost right now, guys. This place is huge. I don't know where to... Alien arch? Excuse me? Okay. Uh... Stargate vibes? I also haven't played Stargate. But I mean, <laughs> it looks like a gate, <laughs> so I, I can see that part. <laughs> what are these sounds? Oh, I suddenly the sound stopped. How do we activate this gate? It doesn't seem, seem active. Like, I'm guessing there should be some sort of portal because, like, we can go through the gate and nothing happens. <laughs> Time to save. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a show movie. Oh, really? Isn't there also a game called Stargate? Star... Wait, what am I confusing it with? Star... Is it not Stargate? Oh, probably not. <laughs> What's the show movie about then? Gates in the stars? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Smart thinking. So I don't know how we can activate that gate. I also don't see anything we can interact with in this room. No. Hmm. Okay. I guess we go up the stairs type? Oh! Oh yeah, we got the iron cube from that. This place is so big, guys. I'm going to get so lost. There's so many levels as well. We should should have brought more food, Gasly. There's like this gate that allows people to travel to other gates all around the universe. Cool. So I'm guessing like all these different planets and things in the, in the universe then all have these gates and then you can travel around cool cool um so we have a second purple tablet now although we haven't found any place to use it yet oh look at that alien <laughs> it's just called alien device <laughs> there's food trees all over the island yeah but we're very much stuck inside a building right now i don't even know how we get out of this anymore <laughs> okay well that's closed off if you're into sci-fi Stargate, one is a must-watch. Okay, cool. I will definitely try to remember that. Um. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay. Not a purple tablet. There we go. Now taking bets on how long it takes her to accidentally detonate Doomsday device. Can I do that? Can I? Can I accidentally detonate a? A doomsday device? Excuse me? What are you saying, weapons? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Don't put this pressure on me. <laughs> Quagan, hi! Welcome, welcome to the stream. So you missed that the sunbeam came to rescue us, and then we might have accidentally shot it down. Or just this building, I'm not sure. <laughs> that That isn't completely clear, but the sunbeam is not here anymore. It's in a thousand pieces in the ocean. With, with its captain and its other crew members. <laughs> so yeah. That that went splendidly. <laughs> Anything else here? No. Yes, your power has been shared. You told me that you cannot be here on Wednesdays anymore. So Quagun will take over on Wednesdays. And help you in the meantime, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sad you missed it too. It was not a great moment. <laughs> you should be happy about it, you know. Now you can only see, like, positive stuff happening. <laughs> no more people getting shot down, nothing like that. Okay. Control room. Am I going to accidentally- Ooh! Accidentally detonate something. <laughs> mm. Wait! We haven't died yet, have we? I don't think we have died. Let's see how long we can go without dying, guys. Let's see. <laughs> I think we haven't died yet. Oh! Oh, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, my bad. Oh! Whoops. Uh. 
The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Oh my god, every single game I'm playing right now talks about quarantine. <laughs> no more quarantine, please! I don't want real life! <laughs> Okay. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Hmm. Okay, so I guess this means that the doomsday advice, I'm guessing that big gun is activated. And if we want to disable it, we need to do that here. But we are infected, so we cannot. So we need first need to get uninfected, I'm guessing. And then maybe help can come. <laughs> But I don't even know how we can reach help anymore. Um, let's see a little bit more of this. Um, codes and clues. Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Okay. Depth 800 meters. Yeah, no thank you. Location. Cave system. No thank you. With extensive fossil records. Southwest of enforcement platform. Function. Life specimen study. Objective, synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designed Cara. Okay, so the name of the bacteria that we are infected with is Cara. Thermal power facility, 1200... Oh my god, this is just getting worse and worse. 1200 meters. Location, inside an extensive natural rock formation. An area of intense volcanic activity. Okay. This all sounds great, guys. <laughs> Generate energy for all local facilities. Hmm. Sanctuary A, data... I would like sanctuaries, please! Why can I only find the bad stuff? <laughs> can we not find sanctuaries, please? <laughs> data corrupted and B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. Primary containment facility. Hmm, data corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft. So that's why we crashed here, probably. And that's why the Sunbeam couldn't get here. So it wasn't my fault. Guys, it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill them. I didn't kill them. Well, I mean, I did because they only came to rescue me. But I didn't, like, directly kill them. You know, that's that's something. Let's stay positive. <laughs> I didn't directly kill them, just indirectly. <laughs> um, to prevent the spread of infection off-world. See, that's smart thinking. We should do that as well. <laughs> it was all your fault. Come on, Ghastly. Be kind. Be kind. Well, let's do this one as well. The Ghastly Crew Manifest. Marguerite Maida. Auxiliary Search and Rescue Mission. Marguerite Maida. Fluid intake. Okay, okay, thank you, Alice. Position freelance security personnel. Status lost in space. Okay, near planet 4546B. That is our planet that we're on right now, right? Age at time of disappearance, 42. Mercenary born in the Mongolian states. Experienced in ship-to-ship -ship and close quarters combat techniques. Tours of duty with the Mongolian Defense Force and a Trans System Federation. Dishonorably discharged from the TSF 15 years ago for going off mission. Details classified, okay. Emissary Kassar. Wait, what was the name of that bacteria? Wasn't that also Ka Kassar? No, not Kassar. Ka something. Reports made I was hired to accompany Paul Torgal on board to Degasi into an uncharted space and defend the ship in case of an assault by pirates of rival corporations. Okay. So a little bit of more information on that. You just didn't kill them <laughs> intentionally. You still did kill them, though. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> that might hold up in court, you know? <laughs> I didn't kill them intentionally, your honor. <laughs> so, I guess that's all we could do here now. Maybe we can check the water, I guess. Oh, yeah. Talking about water. Vital signs stabilized. Assuming you make it to court. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Let me keep hope. Let me keep hope. <laughs> um. Uh, which way is the right way? 